I sometimes, like I said, I keep purchasing these things seeing as my, for my birthday and then I forget about it and then I wanna buy more things. Salut luxury lovers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha. If you're new here, my channel is about luxury travel, luxury purchases. Uh, it's also about how to invest your money properly so you can afford the luxury purchases. Um, but yeah, if you are into any of those things, you're gonna love it here. So guys, I know I've been gone for a while now. Um, but a lot has been happening in my life and I was tired and we had a winter storm in in, in Texas. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't been on. I, well, I like to come on here when I have good energy and I'm excited about what I'm gonna talk about. It was my birthday last week, Saturday, um, and you guys will be seeing it, this video, you know, two weeks after, but basically uh, the last Friday, Saturday of February was my birthday. It was a great birthday. My mom and sister got to come and visit me and um, we had a good time. Um, they visited, actually, like I said, I, I wasn't really in the great mood to do this and I was busy and all that, but um, yeah, it was, it was a great like few days of my birthday. I got a lot of gifts unexpectedly. Every year for a while, I've been mostly getting myself stuff. My family gives me stuff sometimes, which I'm always appreciative for, but we're all grown and I mean the stuff that I really want. My birthday is always a great excuse. Christmas is a great excuse to buy those things that are lavish at best. <laughs> so yeah, um, I got a few things to show you guys. So let's just hop right into it. First thing I got, I'm gonna start with the stuff I got from friends and family, okay? I'm gonna start with um, the smallest item. So, the um, very first small item I'm gonna talk about that I got from my friend Dina was these beautiful um, gold earrings. I love them, they're so cute. I can't wait to wear them. Even with the outfit I'm currently wearing, these would be so cute. So I'm really excited. So thank you for that, Dina. She watches my channel from time to time. But I love them. So yeah. And also my other friend. We because I let me back up a little bit. My friend, my sister put together like a semi-surprise, like outing with my friends because she has some of my friends' phone numbers. So she emailed email text them and ask them to meet me at a bar uh, meet uh, me and her at a bar and it was great and we had a really good time um, lots of free drinks from my friends for my sister and a couple from strangers which was fun and so yeah um, it was a really good birthday so like I said the first gift was from a really good friend of mine and I absolutely adore these earrings and can't wait to use them my other friend Kendra was kind enough to also give me a gift for my birthday. She got me a set of these beautiful glasses, which I absolutely adore. I don't really drink a lot of cocktails at home, but honey, even just a little orange juice for a little bit of that, you know, Lux um, during the week while at home, I absolutely love them. So. Yeah, it's a really cute cocktail glass. She got me two of those, and she also got me a journal. I always love a good journal, and um, it's a really pretty journal. So thank you so much, Kendra, for that gift as well. Um, so yeah, I was very grateful that two of my friends were able to give me something. I was just happy to have my whole friend group like there to share my birthday with me since we've been in this pandemic. It's been kind of crazy and hard to get together without some level of fear. Um, but you know, it was a good birthday. So I'm very grateful compared to my last birthday where it was just me and my sister and we were sat alone eating tacos. But anyway. It was still good. I still wasn't completely alone. Um, next item was from my dearest sister. So there's a little bit of backstory which I'm going to get into quickly. Uh, the backstory is that um, she asked me like a few months ago like this brand I was looking into for bath and body care 
and she asked me what I was gonna get because she wanted to get some of the same items or like ideas of what she could get so I sent her a screenshot of my cart I was planning on uh, waiting to buy those stuff like a little later once I ran out of my current stuff um, so I sent her a screenshot of the cart of things that I wanted and she purchased every single item on that list and a little more so yeah it's it's quite a haul and I'm gonna try to just show you guys in the box but it's from the brand truly yeah I'm really excited I've already been using these products for a week now but she gave them to me in this really beautiful magnetic box which they don't come with um, and yeah she really got me y'all because I had no idea what she was gonna get me for my birthday so it's all these different products so basically she put them all in here very beautifully and I'm just gonna go through them really quickly I plan on doing a separate review video of these products because I've been using them for like a week now maybe I'll wait like a month and then do a review of what I think but they're really like TikTok heavy like advertised products but here we go so she got me the Unicorn CBD body butter. She also got me the acai, acai your boobies <laughs> firming wash or polish for your boobs. Um, she also got me the shave butter. Like I said, she bought a lot of, she got everything that was in my cart that I was planning to purchase after I run out and then she got me the CBD CBD jelly body wash which smells amazing y'all and it smells like watermelon which I love I apologize I don't know who keeps texting me probably my sister <laughs> um, she also got me this anti-cellulite um, serum body serum um, also got me this space candy rocks they're kind of like bath salts i guess i think they bubble up i can't remember but yeah either way it doesn't matter they look pretty cool okay if i can get it to focus that's what they look like and she also got me the little pouch for like when I'm traveling to put my stuff in and in the pouch which is comes um, a little spoon that says truly on it and has a little heart at the top very cute and um, yeah it's really good to use that specific um, that specific spoon for um, the body butter so I already have a few opinions about this product line already, but I'm so grateful that I didn't have to purchase it and I got it as a gift. And um, not that it's not worth purchasing, but we'll get into that when, when I'm doing the full review. Um, yeah, now let's get into what I got myself. Again, thank you, Lisa. I love you. You are the best sister, literally. You really got me this birthday, so... <laughs> wait till yours I'm gonna get you okay all right so my mom did get me an amazing gift she got me too like in terms of like she surprised me I'm a really hard person I'm a really hard person to surprise because I have pretty good intuition I'm good at reading people and so I kind of always know what they're up to especially if it's something for me I'm like <laughs> I know what you're asking me about a few months ago but my, both my mom and my sister got me this time. And uh, my, got, my mom got me this beautiful diffuser. And it's not just any diffuser. It is a perfume-based diffuser from Italy. And she got it for me from Neiman Marcus. I had been talking about it and I wanted to purchase it for like my bathroom. And it's not a cheap one. <laughs> it's a pretty expensive one. And the scent she got me was ginger lime, which is the link I sent her. And she said she was going to go buy her one for herself. And I was like, cool. When I get a chance to go to Neiman Marcus, I will go buy one. She was like, okay. And obviously me, I forgot because whatever. But it came in this really cute box. And the wreaths were, were um, packaged separately. So it's, it's 
it's a Lux level diffuser. It's about 80 or 90 bucks, I can't remember, for the single diffuser and it smells absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, from the day I started put using it in my bathroom, it smells heavenly. I love it. I'm so excited about it. Uh, it's probably going to be something I'm going to continue to replace for a very long time. Now getting into the damage I did for my birthday and things I bought myself. Okay. First unboxing will be from Hermes. Hermes! <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But um, I got this while I was in Colorado in January. I don't know, is it just me? Am I the only person who doesn't have patience to wait until their actual birthday to go buy something? I don't know, but I digress. I don't obviously have the patience. I'm like six months before my birthday, I'm like, I have an excuse to buy this item, it's for my birthday. But anyway, I digress. First item I got was the infamous Hermes pop-up book. I love this book, y'all. It is every bit as pretty as I've seen online. I know these are hard to come by, so obviously when I saw it in the display while we're inside Hermes, I was like, yes, go ahead and get it, girl. Get the item. So yeah, the Hermes pop-up book. It's perfect for my counter, perfect for my um, living room, um, yeah. It is such a cute book. It adds a pop of orange to my to my coffee table. I actually put it on my entertainment center just to kind of break up all the black and white I have on the coffee table books on my entertainment center. So yeah, perfect. I got one more thing from Hermes that day, which um, I had gone into the store for. So as you can kind of tell, it's a twilly. It's a small item. No, I don't have a Birkin yet. In the near future. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got this item. It's a Twilly. It's obviously not the small Twilly because it's quite a bigger box. But I've already looked at it after I purchased it, but I haven't worn it yet. It comes in this cute box. Nicely put in there. And here is the item. I absolutely love it. It is the Animopolis, Anim, Anop, Animopolis um, Maxi Twilly. Oh, I am obsessed with this one. I've actually been kind of afraid to use it because it's so big and so much surface area for me to like mess it up, you know. But just look at the detail on this. It is absolutely beautiful. Okay. It's super long. Um, I don't remember the dimensions of this, but um, I will put a link in the description to see it. I don't think it's easily available on the website. I had to go into the store to see what they had that they didn't have listed online. And so, yeah, this was a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I was excited to purchase this item because I've been wanting it for a long time. I think it'll look really good as a tie, as a headband, as a belt, when I'm small enough. <laughs> it'll also look good. Um, this is just a different ways you can wear it, which they also include a few ways you can wear it here. I think the way I'll probably use it the most is as a bow tie. So they give you like they give you like a little suggestions for the Le Maxi Twilly Slim. Okay, the so Slim Maxi Twilly. So they have a few like ways. They give you instructions on the different ways you can wear it, which I think is cool. So there's like four or five ways you can wear it that they suggest here. And uh, yeah, including making a strap for a bag, which I think is pretty cool. Alright. So that's the first thing I got myself in November, no wait, January, whenever we went to um, Colorado. The essay there was lovely. She made us feel like we were buying a Birkin, the amount of attention we got from that. But I truly love Hermes as, as a fashion brand and 
I'm, I'm more than a fan of them in terms of just the Birkin. There's so many things that I love from there, so many things that are on my wish list from Hermes. Everything from houseware to um, obviously the Birkin. So, one more thing off my list. I also have the smaller Twilly um, that I use quite often. Uh, I sometimes wear it in my videos. On to the last thing I got myself. Thankfully this year I only got myself two gifts, I think. And like I said, these were all gifts like purchased before um, my birthday, so I've already been using them. But anyway, I digress. Let's see. What's the other thing? Okay. And as so, as the title alludes, the item I got myself is my first Chanel item. Well, first Chanel bag, okay? It's not what you expect. First Chanel item, you guys. <sighs> All right. Are you ready? Here it is. It is the Chanel clutch on chain comes with this beautiful clutch i actually had to purchase this used because obviously they don't sell these anymore and if you see some glitter on here it's because it's from going out last week and i haven't had a chance to wipe it down but yeah i've been using it for a while i think i bought this thanksgiving day actually from coco Coco's Closet, no. It's a consignment store on, on Instagram and I saw this baby and I had to get it. It was about a thousand, it was about 1300, I can't remember to be honest. It was about $1,300 and uh, yeah, it was a really good deal. Cause these sell for about $3,000 and Though this is not the typical color that sells for $3,000, I still figured it was a really good deal. And I liked how unique it was. Like, it was a, my, a, my first patent leather bag. And it also um, was this really pretty neutral color. And so I went ahead and purchased it. I will give you a link to the actual seller on Instagram who sold me this bag. But I was drunk on um thanksgiving night and so i just purchased it i was like it's for my birthday everything's for my birthday i don't care if it's september and my birthday is six months away whatever it's my birthday <laughs> so yeah it is a very beautiful bag like i said i have used it and I, i'm it's currently the bag i'm using right now it has an out outer pocket which is really pretty which i love and then here on the front, it has the turn lock clasp in silver, it has silver hardware, okay. Um, and the inside is this gorgeous brown, and I guess I did empty it. I don't put a lot of things, but it has this really pretty back pocket here. I think this is the authenticity card in here. Um, so yeah, it came in a pretty box, which I'm gonna put up here. If I can find the recording, I'm <laughs> opening it initially. And a pretty big pocket. Like, it's surprising how much shit you can put in here. But honestly, since my bag obsession has started, I, I don't carry as much stuff with me on a regular basis. Also because, where the heck are we going? So, I don't know, whatever. I don't carry a lot of things in my bags anymore, which is cool. The only imperfections it had was this curling on the edge, probably from the chain going like that all the time. Um, there's a little bit of discoloration if you look very closely or if you put it in the sunlight, but generally it is in mint condition and it is from uh, 2011, I believe. So this is like a 10 year old bag, basically. It's a 15 series bag. Um, it's a 10 year old bag and it still looks really good and I love love using it so it goes well with my coats my camel coat coats and yeah it is perfect first Chanel bag for me 
because it has a um, versatile utility and you know I can either have the strap out or I can uh, I can tuck it in here as well and, and yeah there you go so yeah that's my first Chanel and I'm in love with it so like I said I had one little item that I forgot that I hadn't revealed on this channel. I honestly can't remember when I purchased this. I do also have an Instagram account called Natasha's Closet that I put all the random things that I purchased, things that I may not have revealed yet here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in that, here is the handle for Instagram. Go check it out, go follow. I think I only have like 40 people on there. It's just, it's not a big deal, but if, if you're curious about the random things I purchased, you're more likely to see them there. All right, so I got another small item from Hermes. I bought it online because these are one of the things that are really hard to find even if you go in store. And by the size of the box, you can probably guess what it is, but it was really exciting. It was wrapped pretty when I got it. And it came, and I'll insert a picture, came in a white box with um, Hermes stuff on it. <laughs> But here is the autumn. It is a Bastia, an Hermes Bastia, and this beautiful pink. I can't remember the name of the pink, honestly. Um, but it matches my hair. I love it. When I saw it, I instantly, I couldn't purchase it fast enough because I was like, even if I went in store, I'm sure these are really hard to come by. So you gotta like, you know, when you get it, when you see it, just add to cart and purchase. <laughs> so yeah, here's the fun part of it too. The inside is this beautiful dark tan color. <laughs> and it says Hermes in there. Gorgeous. I just love the contrast. Now, if you want to get these, you really have to like be on the Hermes website every day, a couple times a day. I just lucked out. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's pretty weird. Um, I just lucked out, and um, yeah, if you want to get them, you have to be on the Hermes website every day, a couple of times a day. I just go on the Hermes website because I'm constantly adding to my sh to my wish list of things. I want shirts, I want clothing, I want towels, I want ugh, your tableware is a goal. I'm an IT by day and an interior designer by the weekend. <laughs> so um so far. And so I love Hermes. So I love Hermes um tableware and that's probably gonna be the next things I purchase for myself. Uh, probably next year so anyway guys this was long and drawn out and I had to get up a lot blah 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 but um, that is it I got for my birthday it's a lot of stuff it was like Christmas all over again and I'm so grateful for my friends and my family thank you so much guys for watching um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and um, I'll see you on Monday with have more ways on how to make money so we can get more Chanel. Thanks guys. Bye.